What's up guys this is Ronny welcome back to our channel total technology this is tutorial 53 and to, uh, today's topic will be how to create multiple frames inside a PDF page it means like uh, uh, you have only um, one page and how to create multiple frames so uh, I'm not saying that it is only limited to uh, create uh, or it is it is going to be uh, limit you to create only frames for a single page no I'm just giving you an example you have a you have a requirement of creating multiple frames within your PDF document so how to do that so that is what I'm saying how to create multiple frame uh, for a same page okay so if I uh, uh, quickly go to the next slide so you guys can see so this is the structure so this is a page and you you have a requirement of creating uh, two frame uh, two frames like this so how to do that so I think all of you already uh, familiar of uh, creating frames inside a PDF using uh, platypus and frames method but I I believe most of you already forgot that thing because I'm uh, I'm actually restarting this tutorial again after probably uh, 10 15 days later because in between I was working on some other tutorial but anyways so I I, I believe uh, most of you already gone through all the exercises use cases and uh, got some idea about report lab so we can start the advance and uh, uh, example driven um, exercise now okay so before uh, moving forward I thought uh, we should uh, create this intermediate tutorial cause multi um, multiple uh, uh, will be going to work on multiple uh, types of forms and inside the form there will be different text box uh, checkbox and all those checkbox and forms will be kind of a, a containerized within this forms uh, within this frame so you need to understand like how to create multiple forms so that is why I created this tutorial so this will be very helpful guys so just pay attention and uh, follow me and if you want you can also uh, do the coding um, as same uh, like same with me like uh, I'll be going to write and you can just follow me because I'll be going to um, uh, give you uh, some time to uh, take the code from the screen because I believe I'll be going to upload this tutorial uh, in the github repository not immediately maybe after some time because uh, it will be difficult to post the codes in the slide as well so um, maybe while writing the code uh, I will uh, do it very slowly so that most of you guys can watch uh, the tutorial and write the same code in your id so enough of talking so let me switch over to my id so first thing let me give one name to this tutorial 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 53 and this topic will be multi multiple frame uh, inside multiple frame for a for same page for a for us for same page okay okay so let's start so first thing first it will be from report lab dot PDF gen and canvas then from report lab dot platypus then import I believe we need only frame here mm -hmm. Uh, frame I believe we need only frame and and I don't think so we need something else but probably if we need we'll do it so PDF is going to be canvas dot canvas and we'll give the document name as tutorial 53 dot PDF okay and we'll create one flowable object so like this so what I'll do guys I will I will first explain you guys again how to create the frames just to uh, re recap all those or refresh all those uh, old tutorials most of you already forgot as I know but many of you already working rigorously on this uh, forms frames and everything because I'm getting multiple request question actually I'm very happy that I I, I am able to uh, uh, provide you some sort of uh, guidance okay so this is it so now let's create one frame first so frame is going to be we'll use this frame okay so frame has four components so first is how, how like mm, like the distance between from the left hand side and the distance between from the bottom okay so let me make it let's say 50 and it should be 150 
and then it should be 200 and it should be 300 and let's give a boundary show boundary of one okay and then what we'll do we'll just add this thing like frame dot add from list and there we'll use uh, the flowable object okay and we'll write this pdf okay this one and after that we'll just save this document pdf dot save this is very simple so let's run this thing so terminated means it's gone and executed so you got this tutorial 53 see we got this nice looking million dollar frame okay so this is how we can create uh, frames now, now what will happen um, what I'll do I will just take a screenshot of this thing okay and I will again what I'll do I will just again repost this thing here what happened I don't know uh, I think picture pictures from file I think this is so make it a bit smaller okay so thing let's do some design i think if possible oh no i don't think design is not going to work so just leave it okay so what we'll write for single frame okay this is for single frame okay and for multiple frame you don't have to worry uh, it will be very simple so what I'll do you have to just add one and two more line here so what will happen now let's just copy paste this two line and put this thing so you have to think in that way so it starts from the 50 position it will go until 200 so the next frame if you want to uh, put side by side so you have to start from here so it start from 50 and it is go until 200 so it's overall 250 so you have to start from here so you can start with 270 or 60 so what I'll put I'll put it 270 okay and height wise it is always same so 150 okay and let's do the same thing 200 and 300 so let's see so it's completed so let's open this thing okay uh, 270 is here but it start 50 and 200 so boundary then it starts from 270 and it will 250 and again 200 300 why this is not coming now I am not sure let's run this thing again okay strange uh, right from least this is fine okay I created this frame again uh, I'm just thinking like it start from 270 and it went to 150 okay and it's let me just uh, why this is not coming let me remove this file probably I'm just uh, uh, the old file only let's run it again okay let's refresh this thing and open see oh, it's coming so probably I was opening the same file again and again so see it is starts from here uh, until 250 the whole and I started with 270 so if you want to re-verify this thing so what I'll do I will make it again 240 so it will be uh, it will be like uh, this two uh, frame will be uh, like uh, residing now si like each other intersecting it will intersect each other okay so see it is intersecting each other it's it, it starts from here and this one is stops from here so 
Yeah, it's actually three frames if you think like this one, this one, and this one. Okay, but this is not like that. So to make it more easier to understand and simpler, you have to to like this. And if you open this, see, nice. So here you can see two frames, this one and this one. So we have to just understand your dimensions, your sizing and shaping. And that's it. It's very simple. So let me take this thing. Okay. And what I'll do, I'll just put this thing here. So insert new picture, picture from file. Okay. And I put it here. So what I'll do, I'll just make it smaller, smaller. Like for two frames side side by side okay so this is very simple so what I'll do I'll just uh, like this um, create two frames with same height and width side by side with same height and width okay that's it so guys i believe you guys uh, enjoyed this tutorial this is very simple tutorial but i thought of creating this tutorial uh, or else it will be difficult for all of you guys to understand um, the uh, concept or logic behind creating multiple frames and why i'm giving uh, so much emphasis or importance the frames because as i told you i'll be going to start the uh, real use cases uh, from some uh, famous or popular companies reporting structure so reporting structure is mainly are based on some sort of form or application or uh, some structure because they have some templates so the template and uh, structure and reporting things are actually based on a different sort of uh, forms or frames whatever you say so and everything will be inside some sort of frames if you if you do not know the hierarchical concept or nested uh, forms on how to create multiple forms then it will be difficult to understand so that is why i created this in intermediate tutorial so one thing i can suggest you guys uh, try to do some exercise or hands-on try to create forms or sorry frames inside a frame like this create one one frame and try to create another frame inside that frame and create another so there will be big frame inside that one small frame and inside a small frame there will be another smaller frame so this sort of things try to do that because we'll be going to tackle all the scenarios uh, very frequently when we are going to start our actual uh, use cases okay so enough of talking guys we'll see you in the next video but uh, please do some practice or else uh, there is no point you will definitely forget so we'll see you in the next video very soon but till then take care goodbye and don't forget to subscribe our channel hit the like button share our videos with your fam friends family whoever you think relevant and if you have any suggestion feedback any anything if you want us to improve definitely we'll do it please try to uh, provide your feedback and thank you very much for all the udemy students thanks for buying this course it was really amazing for all the support i really thankful for all of you and if you guys are having any difficulties if you want any clarification please feel free to reach me out i'll be there to help you so that's it guys we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day and happy learning